That was former Yankee great Bernie Williams sounding Jimi Hendrix-like yesterday. He's a classically trained musician, and after his playing career, became a professional musician, and I had a chance to catch up with the music and baseball man yesterday. I looked it up. You hit 360 in this park. You also hit really well at Kauffman Stadium, but it's not about that anymore. It's about playing music. So. What's it like to get up in front of not just a, an audience watching music, but a baseball audience? Yeah, it's 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 really really interesting. Uh, I think it's uh, it kind of make makes it for me to come full circle. I started playing baseball and started playing guitar and music, being involved since I was eight years old. Uh, so they both have been a, a really important parts of my life. Uh, so I get you know to see the best of both worlds. Now I get to play music. Uh, this uh, great stadium so um, i'm really excited about it and i think some people probably that haven't followed you say wait a minute he, he plays music now but as you said you've been doing it your whole life classically trained so i'm sure many people have asked you this well, was there one passion over another or were they equal uh well when i was playing baseball i didn't really have enough time to think about anything else as you well know you know playing baseball at this level requires it required all my attention i needed to sleep you know eat you know think about baseball all the time to be successful and to play at the level that i was playing uh especially those years with the yankees you know from the mid 90s to the early 2000s uh, there were great years for us uh but now i'm taking a lot of the stuff that i learned in in baseball and i'm applying it into music i heard you playing with bruce springsteen and he said for for baseball you'd be an old guy now but but in the rock world you're a spring chicken, chicken right what was that like well just let alone the fact that I was that, that he was talking about me I was playing on, on, on the same stage and we had a kind of an unplugged version of uh, glory days that uh, we were able to play and it was just I mean definitely one of the highlights of my, of my young musical career uh, and uh, you know I guess one of the things about being a, a baseball player player playing in New York you have an opportunity to uh, to meet a lot of these great artists and uh, they're at, as excited to meet me uh, as a baseball player and I'm excited to meet them as musicians and rock legends so it, uh, it, it it's a great thing okay last thing I, I don't know that there's ever any replacing that feeling of winning a championship or that competitiveness that most athletes lose when they when they leave the game so when you're playing music is there a similar feeling is it totally different oh uh, no it's a it's a it's, it's a very similar feeling I think you know baseball uh, you know I kind of hit a ceiling in like maybe 10th 11th year i knew what i was going to do i knew my limitations and i knew the things that i was really good at uh i've never found that point yet in music there's always something to learn there's something somebody to learn from and um, there's always experiences that, that enrich your life so much uh you're kind of competing against yourself you know trying to be the best musician that you can be so you can hang out with just about any kind of musician that you that you find whether it's rock classical latin uh, you know, Megadeth. I was playing with Dave Brubeck, uh, Dave Brubeck's son, Darius Brubeck, which is a, a, a legend in uh, jazz. And then the next day, I was playing in Long Island, New York, with Twisted Sister. <laughs> so, I mean, you talk about the, you know, the spectrum of you know types of music, and uh, and as a you know, musician, you want to be able to hang out with all those guys. So it's a it's a great ceiling that I have, and something definitely for me to look forward to. Absolutely amazing. You sound great, still looking great. Uh, thanks for doing this. And also, I uh, just want to say to uh, best to all the folks in your native Puerto Rico who I know are going through a tough time as well. Yeah, I was able to uh, finally speak to my brother uh, today. There's no power, and I think, you know, most of the island, I think all of the island has no power. With no power, you got no water. Uh, the pumps don't work. Uh, so they're struggling right now, and they we're trying to figure out ways to help them. And uh, definitely their prayers, our prayers are going to be uh, uh, well appreciated. No question. Well said. Good to see you. Thank you so much.